So this video is about game theory. Game theory is when two businesses compete and they have to take into consideration what the other one does before they make a move. And all they're interested in is maximizing their own profits. So I've got this 3x3 three three game set up here between Coke and Pepsi. So Coke, the player at the left, as you can see their payoffs are always in orange or they're at the one on the left of each individual cell. Pepsi, their payoffs are always in blue, so the player at the top always gets the payoff on the right. And they're only concerned with maximizing their own profits. So this is how it would work. So if Pepsi says, okay, we're going to pick option D, and they're going to come down this column. Coke, in response to that, would pick option A, because if they pick A, they get $20 million. If they pick B, they only get $10 million. If they pick C, they get $15 million. So I'm going to circle the one, the payoff that they get when they pick A. Let's say that Pepsi says we're going to pick option E. Coke, in response to that, would want to pick option A again to get 17. If they pick B, they only get 15. C, they only get 12. And if Pepsi picks option F, again, Coke is going to pick option A because 21 is higher than 18, higher than 17. So all three times we see that Coke pick option A. That's called their dominant strategy. If they pick the same thing every single time, that's what we call their dominant strategy. Now let's put ourselves um, from the perspective of Pepsi. If Pepsi thought that Coke was going to pick option A and come along this column, Pepsi would want to pick option F in response to that. Because if they pick option F, they get 20. If they pick option E, they would have only gotten 18. If they pick option D, they would have only gotten 16. As Pepsi, if we think that Coke is going to pick option B, again, they would want to pick option F to get 16 rather than 12 rather than 13. And if Coke, if we think that Coke is going to pick option C, Pepsi in response would want to pick option F to get 22 rather than 17 rather than 18. Pepsi, coincidentally, also has a dominant strategy. Their dominant strategy was to always pick option F. When you go through these games and do that, and you just compare the numbers up and down, up and down, up and down, and side to side for the player at the top, and just circle the one that wins, the one that's circled twice is what they call the Nash Equilibrium. The Nash Equilibrium is the point in game theory where neither player can make a move to make themselves better off. So in the game that I've drawn up here, the one that was circled twice is option A, option F, where Coke ends up with 21 million, Pepsi ends up with 20. Neither player can make a move to make themselves better off. And what I mean by that is that Coke couldn't go down here or here and get anything better, and Pepsi couldn't go side to side and get anything better. So the one that is circled twice, option A, option F, is what we call the Nash Equilibrium Point. 